Welcome to the video. Today we're looking at sourjiffy.py. Now, sorry if I butchered the name, but I'm not really into this whole Skyfy stuff. So, I assume we have read this here now. You would have done if you were doing the assignment or uh, thinking about doing the assignment. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download our before that CSV file as specified in the assignment in here. So as you see here, we have our Sour Jiffy folder with our Python file within. So when I run this command here, we're going to download our file and you see before that CSV is here. So now let's look at what we need to do. We need to import our statements, our import statements. We're going to have to ensure that only two arguments, so we're going to on the command line is going to be uh, sourjiffy.py and our two arguments are going to be before that CSV and then after that CSV. So I need more than two or any less than two and we're going to give an error and close the program. Then we're going to read in our file. We're going to read in before that CSV and as per the assignment we're going to split the, na the column that says uh, name and house. We're going to split that at the comma and then we're going to change the name part to first and last. And then we're going to write that out to a new CSV file. So let's get started. First of all, we're going to import sys. Now we're importing sys that can give us our errors. If for instance, more than two arguments or less than two arguments. So sys, and we're going to import CSV. That will allow us work on our file. So that's that part done. So now ensure only two arguments. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use an if statement. So if the length of sys.argv is smaller than three, in white three in a minute if you're unsure, then we're going to sys.exit. And then we're going to put in the text here, too few command line arguments. So if it's smaller than three, too few command line arguments. We're going to go LF, the length of sys.argv. Now, if you're unsure what sys.argv does, I have a video here and that will explain it, but I'm sure you've come across it before. Now it's bigger than three. Then we're going to use sys.exit and we're going to paste in our text to many command line arguments. Now, if you're unfamiliar, then three up here and two down here can be confusing. But remember, Python, like all programming language, starts in zero. So this is the line we're going to input it on our command line. It's going to be Python, sourjv.py, the name of our program that we're running up here. And then our first argument is before that CSV. That's the file we just downloaded. And then we're creating after that CSV. And that's the file we're creating that's going to be written and outputted. So, sysc.argv0 is the name of our program. sysc.argv1 is before CSV and 2 is after CSV. So if you count that, 0, 1, 2, that's 1, 2, 3. So I have to have at least three arguments, name of program and these two files here. So if it's more than that, it's, it's uh, too many. And if it's, too, if it's less than that, it's too few. I'm going to leave this here for one moment because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do an else statement. So else, we're going to rename. So I'm going to say before file. I'm going to assign that to sys.argv1. And I'm going to say after file, assign that to sys.argv2. So I'm just assigning these here, so rather than working along our program with syscargv1 and argv2, which can get confusing, I'm just saving them to new variables that are easy to read. So remember, syscargv1 is before the CSV, and 2 is after the CSV. So it just makes that easier to work with. So now I delete it. Now our assignment also dictates that 
we have to give an error if the file isn't found. So if we put in uh, before that CSV and it's not contained within our folder, say for instance we didn't download it here, then the file's not found and you throw an error. Now after it doesn't matter because after we're creating it, but before we needed to work with the program. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a try and accept statement. So I'm going to do here try and down here I'm going to accept I'm going to accept on the file not found. So file not found error. And I'm going to highlight all my if statements. And using control and the right square bracket, I'm going to hit it once and that's going to indent everything together. So what happens here? I'm going to say sys.exit and I'm going to use an F string to say it could not read and what could I not read? I'm going to use the uh, squiggly brackets here to say sys.argv1 and I'm going to close out my further commas. So I'm saying sys.argv1 here because at this stage it wouldn't be saved before file because it doesn't exist. So it's still going to be sysgarg v1 that's inputted on our command line. So if that's not found, it's going to throw this error. Okay, so I get rid of that. So the next thing to do is read in the file. So I'm going to use the with open. Now you've seen this in the assignment and in the videos. So with open. So we're opening before file. That's our before file here. So we're opening that our before the CSV before file, and we're going to open it as file. So to read in our file, we're going to use CSV dict reader. So if you go to the hints here, back to the assignment, to the hints. So the CSV module which we imported, and here is dictionary reader. So dict reader, and this is our instruction how to use it here, our documentation. So I'm going to say csv.dict, D-S-E-T, with capital D, reader. And what am I reading? Well, I'm reading the file I just opened. So I opened this file as file. It's going to type in here file. And I'm going to save that into a new variable called reader. And assign it to it. So now that I have saved to reader, I'm going to iterate over it, which is actually I'm iterating over the file. So for line, that's just a, a word I'm using, for line in reader. So I'm going to say line, and I'm going to access our name in the dictionary. I'm going to say name. What I'm going to do is I'm going to split that, so I'm going to do the, the module split. And within that, I'm going to say split it at the comma. So what I'm going to do with this now is I'm going to save the names. Now what I'm saving is the names here. So I'm splitting name, which is this, because that's inverted commas and that's inverted commas. So this is one name and this is the other. So this is our first name and this is our surname. So I'm splitting this at the comma and I'm going to save the name, so the first name, which is here, into a variable, and the surname, which is here. And then they're going to rewrite it afterwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, last name, because last name appears first here. So Abbott is the surname. So I'm going to say last name, and I'm going to say F name, which is first name. So I'm assigning once I split the comma, I'm assigning the last name and the first name. And then I'm going to assign house to line house. And that doesn't change. So now we have everything split. We have the first name saved to F name. We have the last name saved to L name. And we have house, save to house. So 
So what I need to do now is I need to save this to a new list and that list will be written into our new file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new list here, say original file. That's just a name I picked at random. And what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to say original file dot append to so we're appending into. So I'm going to use squiggly brackets. So I'm saying first, which is our first name, and that is going to be associated with F name. Then I'm going to say last, which is the last name, and that's going to be L name. And then I'm going to say house, and that's going to be assigned to house. Let's try for the sake of it printing original file. And we'll run it here. So Python I and before CSV and after CSV. Now I'm only putting after CSV in here because otherwise it'll throw an error because it's expecting uh, two arguments. So we see here that we have a list printed out with first Hannah, blah, blah, blah. So obviously this is a mess. What it does show though, that it has been saved in here to original file. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to, so we split the name of the house, change the first name and last name. And we're going to write this a new file. And just something to point out here as well that in our file here, say Katie Bell, just so first name's here and the last name is here. So the last name's the first um, argument. I've flipped them around here, so it's going to be the first name and the last name. So what we're going to do is write all this to a new file and see how it works out. I'm going to explain what we're going to do here first. Now we're going to open our after file. And remember, after file is syscargv2, and that's the file we name in the command line. That's the one we want the original file saved to. So we're going to open that. Then we're going to save our headers. They're the headers of the column. And then we're going to write our original file after that then. And so we'll have this file's open, we'll have our headers, and then we'll have our file written back in. So to do this, I'm going to use wit. So wit open after file, comma, w for write. I'm going to say as out file. So I'm going to here say csv dot dictionary dct writer. So I'm going to write the out file, which is syscargv2 up here. Now I'm also going to write field names. Now field names is it's part of the dictionary writer, and that's actually the column headers. So I'm going to assign that to the column headers up here, so the first, the last, and the house. Okay, so they're going to be written in as the column headers. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to save that to a new variable called writer. So to actually write the field names to the file, I'm going to go writer dot write header. That's right, header, H-A-D-E-R. So what's left now is to write in the each row from the original file up here, which is a list. So I'm going to use a for loop. So for row in original file. And I go writer. That's our um, variable name again. I'm going to say write row. So what am I writing? I'm writing the row. So again, all this here is saved to a variable called writer. So that's the headers. It's the column headers. So we're writing that here with write header. And that is a method of the CSV module. 
So then once that's done, I'm going to loop over our original file and each row at a time, I'm going to use the method write row to write that into our file. So that is just about everything covered as far as I can see. So all that's left now is to run it. So Python, I'm going to say S-C-O-U-R-G-I-F-Y.py. And I'm going to open before the CSV. And I'm going to save it to after that CSV. So that's created our file there, hopefully. I'll open it up. And there we have it. We have first, last, and house. And it's been changed around here, the name. So Katie's our first name, and Bella's is our surname. And then we have the house. So it looks okay, but the last thing we need to do is I'm gonna check 50. So there we have it. All greens, so another one complete. So thank you for joining me in this video and hopefully I will see you in another video soon.